His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit to Saudi Arabia today where he met His Royal Highness, Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, Saudi Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense. The meeting took place at the Royal Court in Riyadh, during which His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his best wishes to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman on their new appointments. During the meeting, His Royal Highness conveyed His Majesty King Hamad congratulations and best wishes for the future prosperity of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness highlighted the strategic and historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and noted both countries' commitment to further bolstering the bilateral relations. His Royal Highness added that the strong relationship has helped strengthen collaboration across various areas that serve the strategic goals and interests of both countries. His Royal Highness further highlighted Saudi Arabia's important role in the region and the wider world and emphasized Saudi Arabia's efforts in strengthening intra-GCC ties. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, personal representative of His Majesty the King, the Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. Upon his arrival, His Royal Highness was received by His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, Governor of Riyadh. His Excellency Dr. Msaad Al Aiban, Minister of State and Minister of the Council of Ministers of Saudi Arabia, and His Excellency Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Bahrain's Ambassador to Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness congratulated the newly appointed Crown Prince, Deputy Premier, and Minister of Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naib bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier, and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness. Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The meeting took place at the Royal Court in Riyadh, during which His Royal Highness extended his best wishes to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman on their new appointments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince arrived in Riyadh earlier in the day where he was welcomed by the Governor of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz, the Minister of State and Member of the Cabinet, Dr. Saad Al Aiban, Bahrain's Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and other officials.
The Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, and President of the West Asian Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the Kingdom's winning of the 19th Arab Athletics Championship. He hailed the Pan-Arab achievement, which he said reflects Bahrain's remarkable athletic strides in the Arab, Asian and international arenas. He also paid tribute to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his support to the athletics, hailing Bahrain's landmark achievements ever since he took over as Bahrain Athletics Association Chairman. Also, the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on his re-election for a new four-year term. He described the re-election of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa as another landmark achievement in Bahrain's sports rights. The BDF chief expressed support to Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim in his efforts as AFC president, wishing him success to ensure more achievements. Under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the competition of the second local qualifier for the Mixed Martial Arts was launched yesterday, attended by His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his son, Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the importance of the competition, as it reflects His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad's keenness to further support youth and sports activities in the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the remarkable support of Bahrain's leadership to the sports and youth sectors in the Kingdom in order to further develop this field. His Highness also hailed the continuous support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad to the youth and sports movement in the Kingdom, which aims at further developing sports in Bahrain.
The Mixed Martial Arts MMA is a full-contact combat sport that allows the use of both striking and grappling techniques, both standing and on the ground from a variety of other combat sports and martial arts. And today, the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to be a pioneer in the sports movement in supporting young athletes to practice the sport. I felt uh, really good before the game. I knew that if the, the game went to the ground, I knew that I could do really well. But the guy was really good, uh, Hamza. Hamza was really good in the stand-up. He got a couple of good punches in too. Uh, but my coach, my coach knew, my fans knew, the guys from the gym, they all knew. Once the game goes to the ground, it's all mine. Twelve passionate fighters competed yesterday in the second local qualifier playoffs for the Mixed Martial Arts for a chance to join the team Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts. His Highness highlighted to the players the importance of providing the best tactics and delivering the highest performance levels as the chosen players will represent Bahrain in various international tournaments and competitions. I used my jiu-jitsu skills more than the boxing because first of all I start boxing, I started jiu-jitsu. I just started boxing before one month and a half. So when I started the, the match, I, I was hoping my boxing was gonna work, but it didn't. So I used my jiu-jitsu skills and it worked, alhamdulillah. It's very hard really. I need to be more, uh, have a fitness. Uh, he's a good in uh, ground. Uh, I'm trying to play striking with him, boxing, uh, but I'm trying, uh, and good luck for him, that's all. The mixed martial arts playoff witnessed high competition levels as it plays an important role in establishing a solid platform for this global sport in Bahrain, positioning it on international sports map. Reporting for Bahrain Television News, this is Fatma Bastiki. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa on his re-election as the president of the Asian Football Confederation for a second term unopposed and his election as FIFA vice president for Asia. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that the re-election of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim reflects his distinguished status which he enjoyed by the kingdom in the field of youth and sport and proves the AF sees confidence in his competence in leading the confederation. He also hailed the competence and rich experience of Sheikh Salman and his outstanding efforts as AFC president to develop the football sport across Asia during the past period. Bahrain's pavilion in the Expo Milano 2015 was opened today as the international exhibition kicked off in Italy. The pavilion called Archaeologies of Green featured agricultural and cultural heritage from Bahrain spanning the expos. It also showcases various programs including henna decoration, Arabic coffee, weave baskets, constructing wooden boxes, folk music and Bahraini cuisine while displaying agricultural artifacts dating back to the Dilmun civilization. Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President Sheikh Maib Bent Muhammad Al Khalifa said that the pavilion provides a great opportunity to showcase Bahrain's rich culture and heritage to the world and also to examine its environment in more detail. Bahrain's pavilion is built out of white prefabricated concrete panels that had been designed to go together like a jigsaw puzzle. The plan is that at the end of the expo the pavilion will be dismantled and moved to Bahrain where it will be reconstructed as a botanical garden. Expo 2015, which is also known as the World's Fair, will continue until October 31st. More than 140 countries are scheduled to take part in the event, and for the first time ever, Bahrain is having its very own pavilion.